All right, let's determine the relationship between the lines in the following linear system. And if we're trying to find the relationship of lines in a system, we should be first analyzing the slope. All right, so I'm going to look at the slope of all the lines. We notice here that line 1 and line 3 are in slope-intercept form, also known as y is equal to mx plus b form. Right, and m here is the slope, right? So the slope of line 1 here is given as positive 2, right? And you can write this as 2 over 1. And the slope of line 3 here is given as negative 1 half. Now, it's not too clear what the slope of line 2 is. So what I want to do here is we can notice here that line 2 is found in standard form. I'm going to change it to y is equal to mx plus b form. And the way I do this, I'm just going to isolate 4y by moving the other two terms to the other side. Right? So you get 3y is equal to negative 4x plus 12. I don't want to solve for 3y, I want to solve for 1y, so I'm going to divide this by 3. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I'm going to repeat that to the other side of the equation. You notice here that you get y is equal to negative 4 over 3, x plus 4, right? So you can see that the slope of line 2 here is negative 4 over 3. Now I'm going to compare the lines. So I'm going to start with line 1 and line 2, right? So you can see that slope of line 1 here is 2 and slope of line 2 here is negative 4 over 3. So the slope of line 1 does not equal the slope of line 2. This means that line 1 is not parallel to line 2. And when two lines are not parallel to each other, that means that they are basically going to intercept, um, excuse me, intersect at a certain point, right? And that point is called the point of intersection, all right? So that's the idea. Now we have to also compare slope 2. Oh, before I do that. One thing that we should note is that, okay, these lines do intersect at a certain point, but we need to also look at the angle of intersection. So we can notice here that these two slopes, right, slope 1 and slope 2, these are not negative reciprocals of each other, so they basically intersect at any angle. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's look at slope 2 and slope 3. So we can see that slope 2 here is negative 4 over 3, and slope 3 here is negative 1 half. They're not equal, right? So in this case, therefore, line 2 does not parallel to line 3. So it does intersect line 3 at some point, right? And in this case, because the two slopes are not negative reciprocals of each other, then they can intersect at any angle. The last pair that we have to compare is slope 1 and slope 3. So you can see that slope 1 here is 2, and slope 3 here is negative 1 half. You can see that they're both not equal, right? So therefore, line 1 is not parallel to line 3. That means line 1 will intersect line 3 at a single point. But we can also notice here that this angle of intersection is going to be a 90 degree angle. And we know this because these guys are negative reciprocals of each other, right? So if you flip the graph, uh, excuse me, if you flip the fraction and you put a negative, they're both going to be negative reciprocals. So this is going to intersect at a 90 degree angle, All right? Or they can, you can say that the lines are perpendicular to each other at the point of intersection. 